good morning and welcome to the class on digital signal processing in this video lecture we will learn how to design a low pass filter from the given specifications from the given specifications we have the following data they are pass band edge frequency that is 30 hertz pass band gain is given to be 0.89 Stop band edge frequency is given as 75 hertz. Stop band attenuation is 0 0.20. So, this is the magnitude characteristics of the low pass Butterworth filter. Here, the frequency is radians per second and given frequency is in hertz. So, first we will find the value of the pass band frequency in radians per second. So, ohm p is equal to 2 pi into 30 hertz that is 188.40 radians per second. So, this is the pass band frequency in radians per second. Next, the stop band frequency in radians per second is 2 pi times the given stop band edge frequency that is 75 hertz so it is 471 radians per second so the pass band frequency in radians per second is 188.40 radians per second and stop band frequency in radians per second is 471 radians per second next in the given data they have mentioned pass band gain it is 0 0.89 that is they have given magnitude of h of j ohm now we need to convert this into decibels so that is the pass band uh, attenuation here yeah, this one alpha p is 20 times base 10 logarithm of the gain so it is minus 1 decibels so here on the y axis it is in the, the magnitude is mentioned in decibels. So it is minus 1 decibel. And stop band attenuation is equal to 20 times logarithm of the stop band attenuation is mentioned to be 0 0.20. So 0 0.20 of base 10 that is equal to minus 13.98 decibels. That is alpha yes. So we have pass band frequency and pass band attenuation, stop band frequency and stop band attenuation. So with these we will find the order n of the Butterworth filter as well as the cutoff frequency of the Butterworth filter. The order of the Butterworth filter n is greater than or is equal to logarithm of under root of 10 to the power of 0.1 alpha s minus 1 by 10 to the power of 0.1 alpha p minus 1 by logarithm of stop band frequency to pass band frequency ratio. If we substitute the value of the stop band attenuation to be 1 decibel, sorry, stop band attenuation to be 13.98 decibels and pass band attenuation to be 1 decibel and we get the ratio with these values. Upon solving these logarithms, we will get the values 0.9834 by 0.3979 and this ratio will give you 2.47 and we will round off this one to the next higher integer. So the order of the filter is 3. So for the given specifications, the order of the Butterworth filter is obtained to be 3. Now, next we will compute the cutoff frequency of the Butterworth filter. So, the formula for computing the cutoff frequency is given here. In this, the pass band frequency we will substitute to be radians per second to be 188.40 radians per second, pass band attenuation to be 1 decibel, and here n refers to the order of the filter. So, it is 3. So, substituting the values into this equation, we will get the 
cutoff frequency of for the given specifications is 277.32 radians per second for the given specifications the order of the filter is 3 the cutoff frequency is 277.32 radians per second now next we will find the transfer function of the filter that is h of s and this transfer function is obtained for a cutoff frequency to be 1 that is normalized cutoff frequency normalized transfer function now if we want to have the actual transfer function for this cutoff frequency then we need to substitute in this h of s s should be replaced by s by cutoff frequency so thereby it is 1 by s by cutoff frequency plus 1 s by cutoff frequency square plus s by cutoff frequency plus 1. Now this one will give you the, the transfer function of the low pass Butterworth filter for the, the given specifications.